I see myself as a teacher of literacy in my everyday life. I feel my role is to make sure that children have the tools that they need to go forward. We as a society are not going to thrive if we have a whole bunch of people that are disempowered and relying on a few. I have a social obligation to promote education and the power of reading. The students of today really have very good ideas for tomorrow. My job is to be with them, support them, encourage them, and help them take a step to accomplish what these ideas are. Yo no me considero un maestro del alfabetismo, al contrario, me considero un estudiante eterno de la literacidad, ya que para mí la literacidad abarca más que saber leer y escribir. Es también el desarrollo de nuestra forma de pensar y de ver el mundo. If we can kind of go at the very root of literacy and just making sure that across our community people have opportunity, opportunity to participate in, be able to understand and process and actually act upon the information that they're receiving regardless if it's health information or other information that they need to succeed. I began to read because not only does reading open your mind, but it takes you places that you may not ever see. The ability to read unlocks one's true potential and can ultimately change the course of one's life. As I look at and think about literacy, it goes well beyond the traditional boundaries of improving reading comprehension and writing skills. It goes beyond the thought of just getting a test score. Sustainability literacy really is about building new skill sets and adding values that really need to be brought forth in order to improve the situations that we have in our community today. Alguna de las cosas que hago diariamente a través de mi obra artística es hablar de los temas que afectan a mi comunidad y crear conciencia y proponer acciones. Quiero capturar lo que otros ignoran por opción o ignorancia. Un ejemplo de, de esto sería como el moralismo mexicano y cómo a través de, de la narrativa visual estaban educando a, a la gente de México de los hechos que estaban pasando en aquel entonces. When we have part of our community that is is illiterate or isn't able to contribute all of who they are to that system, we all lose. I want our whole community to thrive, and I want those around me that I that I care about and get to know my neighbors to reach their goals in life that they're, that they're striving for. And to be able to do that, we all need to be able to navigate the world we live in. Literacy will give you success in life. It's what you have to do, it's what you have to be. No matter what you do, no matter how you go forward, you can only be successful if you can read. You have to be able to read to be able to do a math problem. You have to read to get instructions. You have to read to know, know what your boss would need. And there is nothing that you can do that's even more prevalent than learning how to read and being able to be a part of a, a learning community. And when the community learns, the community thrives. And we all have to be a part of that. My name is Teresa Branson. Chris Sane. Jenny Week. My name is Salvador Jimenez Flores. Norman Christopher. Tempe Man. And I am a teacher of literacy. I am a teacher of literacy. I'm a teacher of health literacy. A teacher of literacy. I am a teacher of literacy.